My name's Tori Pudwill, and we're gonna talk about my board setup. I skate thank you skateboards, and I ride size eight. I've been riding size eight boards um, for probably the last 11 years. Um, I stepped it up to a size eight from a 775 after I tore my ankle. I just started skating size eight. Like it just felt like a bit more solid and concrete um, under me. Skating size eight consistently. I never skated anything bigger than a size eight. If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It works for the tricks that I like to do. You know, I like to flip my board a lot, skate a lot of ledges and um, you know, it, it's it's right for me. I have a size eight foot, so having a um, you know a somewhat proportionate board to my shoe is, I think, makes sense. We can say. Personally, I I skate a custom shape. It's um, a little shorter than a normal size eight board, and that like changes the that changes the wheelbase. So the wheelbase is a little bit shorter than what a normal eight would be. That's really what works for me. That's how the tricks flip and kick and like, I don't know what what it is, but that specific wheelbase with this length of a board and nose and tail, couldn't tell you what it is, have no idea what it means, but it's the magic. That's, that's my magic is, is this specific board and the shape and the size. No, I don't know what the wheelbase size is at all. Um, I, I really didn't know for the longest time what a wheelbase was and where to measure that from. I still don't know. I don't know if it's from the top or from the bottom. I just know when I was starting Thank You and um, I was just skating other companies' boards for a bit before we launched the brand, something changed, you know? I like, I thought I was like, not skating enough or like I just was kind of just like losing it a little bit and the tricks weren't working. I couldn't like nollie flip and kick flip the way that I just naturally do. There was a day where I kind of just set up an old deck that I had and everything worked again. Everything worked great. And I just figured out, oh hey, my board is shorter than these other boards I've been skating. Even though they're all size eight and the shape feels good, this is shorter. And I didn't, I didn't understand that at first, but then I kind of made sense of it that it's just got a different wheelbase. And what my legs are used to to pop and flick and time it up is this specific board. So it's a custom shape that I ride. My board, I feel, is actually kind of on the steeper side. And I, to tell you the truth, I like flat boards. I like really mellow flat boards, like kind of like OG, like girl and chocolate boards. For some reason, over time, like my board just ha had a little bit more concave. I just don't feel the need to change it. It, it works good for me and, um, you know, I, I, I don't really overthink the board too much. The board really has like, so many elements to it that can make you skate differently. And I just try to get on it and go. With the veneer colors, I don't have any specific interests or dislikes. Um, I love all wood grain so much. Top color could be any color to me, it doesn't matter. I get super stoked just like to have a different one every time, you know? As far as um, stained veneers go, I can't ride natural. I, I can't do the natural ply on the top or the bottom. Just something about that. I don't hate it. If, if, if it's specifically meant for like a graphic, I could, I could do the, the actual natural stain wood veneer. But like if I got natural on the top, even if I got no cutout on the grip, if I see that natural wood color right here on the side, I just feel like my board is cheap. Like, I just can't rock it. I think it's the one thing in my head that fucks with me is when there's, there's not a, a top color stain on, on, the, on the veneer. 
I skate venture high 5.2s. There's 5.0s, 5.2s, and I think 5.8s, which is for 8.25 and up. So if you, uh, if you speak venture, <laughs> 5.2s, that's the length here. And specifically, I do prefer to ride the um, venture hollow lights, which that's the hollow axle and hollow kingpin. And I do notice when you have the titanium trucks too, all that right there makes the board so light. And when it's that light, I do feel like it, it does increase being able to have a, a bigger vertical leap. Comes time to pop your, your nollies and your, your trays. A good titanium truck, but I don't know, sometimes that weight kind of helps you just kind of get in that pocket of like a more like firm snap, you know? So for me, the hollow axle, hollow kingpin, venture hollow lights. The reason I skate the high trucks is um, just so the axle, the kingpin doesn't scratch on the ledges because I love my Smith grinds. I love to hop on a backsmith. And when I skate the high trucks, I got no issues with my kingpin scratching. I think the highs also help with like the distance between from where your your nose and tail are from for the ground, which gives you a bit more time for that to hit. And I think that that gives you more pop, more leverage. I've been skating ventures for uh, man, I wanna I wanna say like 16, 17 years now. So I love them, and typically I skate pretty tight trucks, like. I don't know why. Sometimes I feel like they're too tight, but um, that's the thing with ventures. Like they're the trucks for skaters that don't really like to turn that much. I don't understand how Daywan skates. <laughs> His board is like so hard for anyone else to ride. And, but I'm sure it goes both ways. I mean, to ride my board for a lot of people might be tough. I feel like a lot of like more like tech ledge. Flat ground skaters kind of like keep their trucks more on the tighter end, mm -hmm. you know. That's why you see them tic tacking a little bit more. Yeah. These wheels are Ghetto Child. Ghetto Child came back uh, a couple years ago. Can't keep a good thing down. Uh, Brian Herman signature wheels here, size 52s. Um, I never jumped higher than a 52. 52 is like perfect size. I've tried 53, too big. 51, used to love them. I mean, I used to go all the way down to 49 at one point, but size 52, conical shape. This conical shape, I really love because that surface area right there. So when you're hopping on a ledge and you're trying to sit on a back lip and you're on top of the ledge, you got a good surface right there. You know, the skinnier wheels, less slide. And um, for whatever it does, man, I don't know. It's like, I just feel like that conical shape gives you kind of that good lock-in on like a ledge, you know? The 52s are perfect, man. I don't get that much wheel bite either, you can see. Not too much wheel bite there. Got the Andale Swiss bearings in here. And they're great, actually. Very wonderful, last long and not only fast, but very smooth. Um, the Andale Swiss bearings are, it's a good bearing to try out, see how you feel. Cause like you wouldn't think, but some bearings do feel different when you just roll. And um, yeah, the Andale Swiss are great, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. I pop the caps every single time, no matter what, even if I'm in the biggest hurry, I always pop off the shields. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. I don't know what it is, you know? People got their rumors and fables about it, but I personally think it makes the bearings better and faster and last longer and look cooler, for sure. That's how a bearing should look. Grizzly grip. Grizzly grip, nothing but. Nothing but the best. Formulated specifically to what I think is the best grit for any flip trick and last as long as you need it to. It's not too grippy. That's what I like the most about it. OG bear cut out right there. That's the, that's the 
original, iconic Grizzly Grip Tape right there. Yeah. I think a lot of people feel the same as I do. It's just nice to skate and when you look down at your feet and see that, it just kind of gets you stoked. Bolts, I have to have seven, eight inch, no matter what, Allen wrench for life. I, I, I cannot do Phillips head. I just stick to Allen wrench bolts. Diamond Hardware, Diamond Supply Co. Best bolts in the game. This, this is, um, got the rose gold bolt. That's the Diego Nahara. Pro Hardware right there. If I got a colored bolt, which I would say 99% of the time I do, I always put the colored one top left okay. every single time. And when I put the bottom bolt, if you look, that's on this one, put the bottom colored one on the opposite side. So when you look at it, it it's like the, it is the same side, but it's the opposite bolt. So that's what I do with the colored bolt. I don't have like a weird OCD or nothing, but I guess maybe without even knowing it, I do. I, I just feel like I gotta do it the same every time. The way I do set up my, my trucks, my hardware, um, I always go in the crisscross formation. Usually on one of my trucks, I'll write an F or a B, so I know which is the front and back. So this pair, I have a B on my back truck, just scratched in there Scratch with a razor blade. I can usually tell which is the, the back truck with like how many back tails or switch crooks I'm doing. That one's usually gets a bit more grooved in and back lips too, because the front truck will usually get that scratch right there. So you gotta, you gotta keep your trucks in line and in order if you mix them up, you're gonna have some problems. My bushings, I just keep them stock. I just keep it stock with what comes in the trucks. I don't really alter too much on my board, you know, other than I crack the shields off my bearings, but um, I keep it pretty true to what it is. Yeah, I've tried other bushings before, and I just, I love skating new trucks mm. all the time. Like, just when, once they're brand new, to me, they just feel great right away. And I think I'm just used to that from making myself get used to it and just like purposely setting up new pairs of trucks more often so I don't get attached to one pair of trucks because after a year, year and a half, they really start breaking down. Once the pivot cup starts to get chewed up and your bushings start cracking and you know, especially with, uh, we know you've had that problem where your threads just fall off and you try to put your bolt back on you can, you, and you can't get it on. You're doing everything you can do. Your trucks really actually just start feeling really crappy, but like you're afraid to set up a new pair. Yeah, dude, I feel like, I feel like that's pretty much everything on my board, you know? You pop a couple stickers on there. Red Bull, Tech Deck. I don't dress my board up too much. I don't like to dress it up too much, you know? I don't want to overdo it, too many stickers. Yeah? Thank you, skateboard, here's the grip tape. Venture trucks, ghetto child wheels, underlay bearings, diamond hardware. Let's ride. <laughs>